hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you how to work on the excel connector in salesforce and how to fetch the data import data export data and automate your business in a single sort okay so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and so let's get started without any further delay and again uh, please watch this video until end because it's a very most important for us if you are working some data manipulation things okay so let's get started now so you can see here excel connectors main objective to ensure that you you can surely export import and automatically refresh sales for data using excel user suppose you have some excel sheet here you can see this is the excel sheet right it's having some rows and column like that okay there are so many columns so, okay like that and there are so many rows and if you want to take some data from the salesforce it's a salesforce like that this is a salesforce and this salesforce data like this is salesforce and this is excel suppose that for example purpose let me show you this one so i want to take salesforce data into the excel sheets automatically so how to do that so with the help of excel connector we can take this one and if you do some manipulation with data so you can do and we can update this data fr uh, from excel sheet to salesforce as well here you can see this is the way so excel connector is a microsoft excel extend we can say add, uh, add in design to easy to process transformation and information from your salesforce account to spreadsheet here you can see right spreadsheet document excel connector is an integrate software and include features such as a dashboard and metadata management okay so this is all about the definition about the excel connector now it's time to practical so how to do that with practical things okay so first of all you have to download this excel connector from the particular website excel connector and that is called here you can see this one so this is the uh, like x apex here you can see this is the website you can download from here this is the download button and you can download and i already downloaded this software and install into the my excel so you can download and install so it's automatically showing in the excel so let me so you with practically part okay so you can learn from here like what is this excel connector and all the things okay so like basic features all the installation uh, you can learn from here because it's a 30 days trial version okay after 30 days uh, it's asking some licenses key and license so don't worry about that our practice our purpose is uh, to understand the functionality only trial version right so if you are working with the industry so you can purchase this license otherwise leave it as it is right so i have one org i just logged in my org and this is main website you can download from here like excel connector now it's time to do some work with excel so how to do that so first of all let me open the excel so let me open excel here and now my excel is loading now okay here you can see my excel is here okay and in in top corner you can see different types of menu like files home insert page layout formula data review views help now you can see new connector like excel connector you can see this one so once you click this excel connector so you cannot see all the buttons as a disabled as a disabled right now but one button is enabled like login so you have to login first with salesforce so how to login just click this log button and here you can see uh, this is my alias name and server name is a production username i entered the password with security token and you have to just click in login so if you don't know about the token where we can get so you can login with salesforce and in your login profile one setting is there like my setting in classic so just click this my setting and go to the personal tab and uh, you can see one uh, option like reset my token 
so once you reset the token you will be get one security token in your email id in your particular email id okay so if you don't know so let me show you how to do that so here you can see this is the profile just click this one and once you click this profile okay so yeah so here you can see setting just click this setting and just here you can see here you can see uh, my personal information and here you can see like reset my token okay so, like reset my security token once you click this button right reset security token you will be get a security token in your particular email id okay so this is the purpose of this uh, security token okay so let me login first here and here you can see one process is going on so login in please wait okay so still is going on now so after some time you can see successfully logged in and here you can see in the bottom processing salesforce user information so it's taking some information about the your org or or here you can see uh, all the gray out here uh, not gray out it's a enable all the buttons like green and all the functionality here you can see okay like that so first of all we have to click this get data if you want to get some data from the salesforce org so just click this get data and here you can see like one user interface okay this is a new screen right so first step is select the object which object you want so i want to take account object so you have to search like account and now you can see this is the account here you can see so account related field listed out here you can see like active account number and all the things so which one you want so you can select otherwise leave it as it is so let me choose this account number and here you can see automatic soql query generated once you select this all the things account number and just let me choose this account id industry and rating as well name rating so here you can see phone as well and here you can see uh, one sql query is generated now so if you want to take some filters like where clause and all the things so you can uh, use with the help of this one like active equal here you can see like equals not equal like that and equal null or not null right okay so equals here you can see like equals and once you give this equals so you can put like yes or no here you can see yes or no like yes so it's the automatic filter your records okay so i don't want to take right now here like as any filter here okay and here you can see my query is generated automatically now it's time to check under the option parts and option part here you can see like start sales addressing a1 because i need some uh, last executed date and uh, uh, time in uh, first cell so how to do that and last refresh data cell address range name like b1 okay like b1 so i want to take this one and always check this one create a table data retrieve headers enforce pick list values auto auto size column based on your content okay so i set, uh, i do this setting now and here you can see query builder and under these things here you can see one button is execute okay so it's time to execute this one so let me execute this one so it's execute uh, the query and fetching the data from the salesforce okay so it's taking this some time here you can see my excel now you can see all the data i got it from the salesforce right here you can see okay so like uh, account number and uh, id okay so industry name rating phone so let me change this one because it's a id so, so i already mentioned one b1 or a1 so i mistake that thing so you can change based on your requirement so it's automatic generated here like a1 or just let me close this excel and i will show you the correct data okay so again let me open my excel here like excel 
and now excel is opening now okay once you open this excel just click this new and excel connector just login and login with salesforce and it's login now and always give your options like a2 and b1 like that okay so i mistake something in that uh, options so now you can see is processing salesforce data and it's opening all the things right so just click this get data and here you can see it's fetching the scan salesforce objects now it's fetching all the objects now just click this drop down and select the account okay like select account here or just click this drop down and select this account now okay so account related will listed out here so let me quickly add this one like active and account number or id industry name and rating and phone as well like rating okay and go to the option part and always change this a2 and this b1 b1 and just execute this one okay now you can see the data quickly so here you can see this is the way to uh, take the execute date here previously you can see in id column like this date here but right now you can see the correct uh, options okay so now our data is correctly came here and you can check each and everything okay so if you want to do some modification with this data so you can do with the help of this uh, uh, rows and column as well okay like i want to change all the industry as agriculture so how to do that just click this drop down and change agriculture here like agriculture this one and just drag and drop in all the rows okay or just here you can see so all industry should be agriculture okay so now is uh, it's time to do some update in your data so how to do that okay so just select this one select this data and how to update this one just click this connector and here you can see one option is update okay so just click this update and it's uh, throwing some tips and tricks under this update so just click the ok and it's showing this one just close this one and here you can see field mapping things so you can match your uh, like field based on your requirement so for now uh, right now i am leave it leave it as it is now so just click this update button and now you can see scanning spreadsheets okay before that let me show you one thing like here in account object let me search like account here like account okay once you click this account and you can see this object like coca-cola and it doesn't have any industry here you can see agriculture and let me check yeah sucks. and here you can see our operation is done now you can see like success success here you can see one column is added automatically success succeed and all the dates right so it's time to check uh, all the data from this object like account so let me choose this sales uh, application just click this sales and now uh, choose your object tab like account just click this account now and here you can see like all the data re regarding this object so let me setting this one like uh, click this all here like all account and now let me add one column like industry so here you can see select fill display or added fill display something like that here you can see and now you have to choose uh, industry field here like industry is there or not let me check one check once like industry so just uh, add this one industry where you can add this one let me uh, top down here this is the top here, like here you can change this one and now let me do one thing here like this one and save it once you save it 
you can see all the industry regarding all the records as a agriculture here you can see agriculture right so this is the way to work on the excel connector in salesforce so guys you, if you like this video please share like subscribe my youtube salesforce hunt we are good now and if you have any question query regarding this so you can ask me in comment section and please stay tuned my videos and channel and see ya till then see ya bye bye take care